and the strength of the ties of the Knights of Columbus to the Church is no greater example than the advancement of the cause for canonization of our founder, the venerable servant of God, Father Michael J. McGivney. As his cause continues, our postulator in Rome recently received very encouraging news about a possible miracle through the intercession of our founder. This development was especially welcome because the report came shortly after we received news from the Vatican that the event previously under investigation would not be going forward. So we saw clearly the truth of the old saying that when one door closes, another one opens. Now our postulator has begun looking diligently into this new report, which we think may be a miracle involving the intercession of Father McGivney. Since this investigation is in the very early stages, I will not discuss the exact details, knowing that the final judgment on these matters is in the hands of the Church. But I think we have very good reason for hope that Father McGivney is very much on track for beatification. One approved miracle is needed for beatification, and another approved miracle is necessary for the final stage of canonization and sainthood. The message we should take from these events is that all knights and their families should continue their regular prayer for Father McGivney's canonization. We should invoke his intercession in life struggles, and especially when faced with very serious illness. In addition, every Catholic is invited to sign up for the Father McGivney Guild and continue to report favors received. The cause for Father McGivney was opened during the pontificate of Pope John Paul II, who encouraged devotion to our founder. This is just one of the many ways in which the Knights of Columbus has been closely linked to Pope John Paul. 